I'm not a vampire, not an alien, I'm not the fucking mummy, I'm a goblin. Hi, greetings, my goblin nation! I am your Mad Hatter of today! And I'm here for Crimson Pig, the horror movie! Oh, God! This horror movie goes on well. I've twice the monsters, love me, monster. I'm a little confused, but what I get from it, that's what I'm gonna share you. Uh, the most confusing is because I didn't pay always attention. I was like, oh look, a unicorn outside. I'm gonna take a look. And then I was like, oh yeah, I missed some. But what I get from Crimson uh, Peak is there is this uh, girl, woman in the Victorian London kind of era. Oh, good morning. And in the Victorian London era, oh, uh, she falls in love with Tom. It's actually funny that. The guy, the actor that plays uh, Tom is actually Tom. Well, I uh, kind of think, there are two Toms. Both of them is like, hey Tom, you can have your own name. It's like, oh, that's great. Kind of thing. But this Tom, uh, this Tom, uh, Tom was young. So young. But her bigger sister kind of fell in love with her. Kind of thing. I don't know. I'm not sure for, for sure. Uh, kind of thing. But she literally... What is most about her is whatever relationship she got to uh, Tom kind of thing. The most important is she wants her, her, her him for himself kind of thing. And also there is this crimson pig that I actually didn't get so much. There is blood. I guess uh, to make them uh, forever young or for uh, or somebody not dying. I kind of get. I forgot uh, that some parts, but one way or the other, either it was for uh, him not dying, or she not dying, or uh, living forever kind of thing, that's a crimson sacrifice, whatever kind of thing that is, uh, or just taking people's fortune. That's awesome, it's an, oh, I wanna make everybody's fortune, that's gonna be ours, because that's what uh, they've been doing for a long time. Tom marries some girl, they, they, she gets all the money and then kills them. I was like, oh, humanity! All over the world, they go to get uh, get some. Uh, but this time, Tom felt really in love. Yes, there has been other girls, but there was not a woman. Like, uh, there was no other woman he fell in love with. And his sister, probably, or, or something, or kind of thing, or... Uh, oh, that, that could be just symboling love, but it also could be more than love. But also, it's a bit of weird. Uh, it's very sane. Whatever it was, whatever uh, innocent or not innocent relationship she had with her sister, uh, what matters is her sister is a little bit of let's have the thing, don't fall in love. But he fell in love with this woman. And uh, yes, they went to the kind of thing. She almost signs it, uh, but she didn't because she also the ghost stories are also like uh, a little bit like uh, not important at all. You could have done this without the ghost stories. You could have done with more ghost stories kind of thing because the ghosts kind of thing are not that important. She can uh, read ghosts. She can kind of thing. She has the ghost stories uh, going on, and she knows about ghosts. She knows about the kind of things that happen with ghosts. Uh, but I gotta say, the ghost stories are a little bit like this. Oh, they exist, but doesn't really matter. You can forget about the ghost stories because all that is, she can see them. She can kind of think. And she gets uh, uh, to Crimson Peak where the castle is, where her uh, kind of thing. And... She fell in love, uh, they've really fell in love with it. Sure, there is this whole town and looks a uh, kind of thing. And this uh, castle, she's just so much in love that she's like, eh, it don't matter that you don't have anything. That you almost have nothing to hold on. I fell in love, kind of thing. And with our money and his inventions, we can do something. Also, yes, her father uh, died and it was because of the sister. Uh, we saw us like... This hand shoe of a, uh, of a, uh, um, uh, that seems like it was Tom, but it wasn't Tom. I was like, there's gonna be a twist that that wasn't Tom because 
That's too obvious that uh, that hand was for Jarvis, right? And then really revealed it was the sister! Ba ba ba! And I was like, oh, hats off for that. Because, of course, uh, of course, th there would be a twist like that. Anyway, but the uh, uh, most twist that I saw coming miles away is that, yeah, Tom is like, has uh, like a uh, kind of like, I like you. And I fell in love with you, with all my but I mean, I'm kind of a psychopath still. I'm still a kind of a psychopath that goes nuts! <laughs> but I like you. I love you. I love the way you taste. I love the kind of thing. I literally didn't have sh apparently sex till uh, I very much fell in love with you. And I'm like, really? That, now that's the weirdest part kind of thing. Either way, they danced, they kind of thing, they did great dance, they they fell really in love, you felt a connection between them a kind of thing, but either way, it got shorter because she was like, mm, there is something off about him, her father got killed because he felt something off about her, um, and uh, then, then they moved to there, got married, but she was already he was already married to 100 other girl, a woman uh, kind of thing man woman kind of thing and she, they now live to, in london in this crimson ca uh, peak kind of castle and yeah it's cool gothic kind of thing but she sees ghosts starts getting weirder and also uh, starts dying slowly and that's what the sister has done making them die slowly but slowly enough that she can uh, just enough uh, so she can uh, wear the kind of thing and she does it at the end while she is revealed her ex-boyfriend kind of thing that one I had a crush on her came there trying to save her and then uh, and then Tom is like okay my sister can of get nuts more nuts than usual because I don't want to I feel a regret and she doesn't so you're the doctor tell me where you I have to step you so you know that you have not hurt she does that. This is also one of the things like, oh, she, he steps, he's gonna co become uh, important later. Nope. Not even a little bit. Not even a small bit. He just survives. That's about it. He survives. And Tom is, uh, goes upstairs, tries to get the girl, but goes first to his sister. His sister is like, uh, like you could not fell in love with somebody else. I got my mother because of you. I wanna get... And also we discovered that she went to mental as well, while Tom is like, he was young enough, it was kind of thing, so like he was naive, while her sister was a couple years older maybe kind of thing, and is the one that lays uh, the zone and she killed his ma uh, mother, so she went to another house, another kind of asylum, something else, Tom went into the world, able to do this stuff again, uh, kind of thing, but somehow their paths got crossed. One, one is very mentally unstable, that's the woman, and the other one was easy influenced by, by his sister, her kind of thing, because they were close, but a little bit too close, and that's not good, and also she has a knife, a freaking battle, uh, butter uh, knife that she wants to use on little snow here, I don't know who she is called or what she is. Kind of thing, but they want to murder. Uh, this is what Tom and now is like. Okay, we're gonna save her. Uh, I saved the boyfriend. Now I'm gonna save, uh, uh, save uh, my the uh, woman I fall in, fell in love from my sister. He tells the sister. Sister starts knifing him. He's like, How could you? If I cannot have you, nobody will. And he dies. He literally dies on the spot. Kind of thing. I'm like. Yeah, this is like the toxic kid, uh, but he also says like, you, I didn't, I didn't fall in love with you, you're very toxic, this is a toxic relationship, even a kind of thing, and for sisters kind of thing, even more toxic than that kind of thing, this is like way too toxic, way too kind of thing, way too much, so I get the, the kind of thing, there are some toxic relationships, in even family members, this one went to the fourth, seventh level, like way beyond uh, a toxic relationship, way beyond kind of thing. And uh, when Tom finally pushes back, uh, kind of thing from this toxic relationship, finally, when he really knows what love is, like the difference between toxic uh, kind of relationship uh, and real love, what Tom finally fell for somebody. The difference, he finally sees what the difference is and stands up. He stands up to that kind of thing. And that's right! 
that's that's always great, you know. You don't need a toxic relationship, uh, Tom. No! Get, uh, get rid of it. Well, he dies because of it, but, you know, head off to you, my dear. You did it! You moved on. To, to he heaven or hell, you know, and you still killed people, so maybe you don't get to heaven. But! You moved on. Yeah. And he did. Uh, what's uh, kind of thing? And she fell, uh, kind of thing. She, she and only this uh, sister, and the woman is remaining. She goes for a knife, goes upstairs, cr tries to get it. She tries to get it, starts moving like a ghost in the trying to kill her. And then it's like, there are only two ways this is gonna be. Either you die, I do. And then, uh, uh, and then behind her is she sees Tom, so she can see uh, the ghost kind of thing of Tom, and also the sister can see and for a second, and they're like they're still only with one. It's like I heard you the first time, <laughs> and kills her, and then go, goes to Tom. That's now a ghost and takes uh, her goodbyes, and I was like, I really hoped ghosts were. Um, bigger part in this that uh, instead of just warnings because all they are are warnings to the future warnings kind of thing the ghosts were not a big thing and that's a, a little bit disturbing I would have loved if there was a twist that the mother uh, of the, the sister game to crack her to a kind of hell to like starting like first kind of thing being manipulating uh, the, the uh, coral to be kind of thing, uh, having her as a puppet, uh, to fall in love with Tom, and then actually want to drag her uh, her children to hell. That would be way better. Like kind of thing, you are those both disappointments and drags and kind of thing to hell, uh, kind of thing, uh, because of what they did, uh, kind of thing. That would be so much better than what he got. We got this. Well, it was not the worst movie ever. I felt the ghosts were very like second and they could have done something more with the ghost. They were just making uh, making this girl, uh, the main character, uh, going more insane. And kind of uh, doing us past thing. They were not a big thing, uh, even th th just to scare her kind of thing and to what happened to Crimson Peak. That there are some other people murdered there, sacrifices kind of thing to move. I don't remember exactly. But uh, general thing, you could have done without them, but I feel like you should have done more with them instead of less. I just, just a mad hatter! The goblin mad hatter! The twisted goblin mad hatter! His opinion. You know, you could have had another opinion, you could have another opinion about the look, about everything, because maybe you like this movie. I'm very much of a 7 out of 10 kind of thing. I felt like, well, the acting was pretty good, pretty standard. Uh, maybe I'm getting tired of horror movies, I'm not sure. But I do love, like, what I like about horror movies is they dive way more into the supernatural, the creepiness of uh, kind of uh, uh, some beings, the lore that is being found in horror movies, like this few, this ancient old kind of thing, or from outer space kind of thing, those things that makes you think, what the hell is happening? I don't know what can be happening. I have no idea, but it's insane. I like it. I want to see more. I want to see Blade of War. So I like that kind of thing. While I do sometimes feel like the stories, the main plot is not so, like here, Crimson Peak felt like, okay, those two has a toxic relationship with each other and Tom finally broke out of it, and it's more actually his story, of finally breaking out of this toxic relationship he has with his sister, that he finally breaks out of it because of a girl. If you see it like that way, it's much more of Tom's uh, kind of a, a movie than uh, his. Him finally breaking out of that toxic relationship he has with his sister, uh, kind of thing, uh, because he now knows what real love is. And not become uh, this monster uh, because the, that's his sister actually is kind of thing. If you see it like that, better movie uh, kind of thing. But anyway, so yes, I give this one 
and uh, uh, 7 out of 10 I don't think there is much to it but even though there are some stuff I really would have much more life like the ghost kind of thing what are these ghosts crimson peak ghosts what what's the difference about them what kind of thing what how do you defeat them because they're more warnings than actually uh, kind of things they could have been uh, becoming a uh, kind of thing they have co become a bigger thing like i said ghost of the mother coming back that could have been a thing there was so much more in this movie that they could have done but they didn't and uh, now we're gonna end this video i hope you enjoyed it i really do the mad hatter the twisted goblin mad hatter thanks you all for being here i'm gonna say goodbye Good night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out. And then the days got worse and worse, and now you see I've gone completely out of my mind.